in this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate System.io. It's super simple to use. If you've never done it before, this is definitely going to be a helpful tutorial. So let's get started. So from here, if you don't have a funnel yet, all you have to do is click on create. This is actually for one of my clients and it's written in creation. So you probably won't understand the text, but that's okay. If we go through the navigation on the left hand side, you'll see that we already created some pages. But if you wanted to create a new page, you will have add a step. You click on add a step. You will say like, this is a sales page, right? Or you might say it's an opt-in page, but in this case, I'm just going to say it's a sales page. I'm going to click on sales page, click on save. The page is going to show up on the left hand side, but it's giving me option, as you can see, to choose from one of these templates. So I don't have to create a sales page template. It's already done. So if I wanted to use this one, for example, I would just cl click on select and let's just say test, uh, I need to make it okay, like this. Now it's saved, right? And if I wanted to, I can go over to see view funnel step right here. And this is how it looks like. So I have the template that I can go through optimize to fit my personal style, right? In this case, I'm just going to go back to the funnel settings, I'm going to go over to sales page, click on these three dots and click on remove and confirm right here. And it is done. Now, as I said, we already have all these pages. Couple of things to know. View funnel is there. You see how your funnel looks like. This is the funnel settings and this is just to connect your funnel domain and the currency that you want to have and how you're going to name the funnel. If you have multiple funnels, you probably want to name it based on the domain name that you're using. Okay. You can also change the page template, but if you're going to do that, all the stuff that you worked on is going to be gone. Another thing is you may want to get familiar with the automation rules, such as AB test stats, lead sales, deadline settings, and things like that. The automation rule is what you're going to have is set up on this one. So the first funnel step when they submit, I want them to go through like a, a, a funnel, email funnel. I'm not going to cover the email funnel in this one because it would be too much for the video, but this is how you get there and how you set up these steps, right? The way this funnel works is they go to the first page, which is his authority building page where he's giving away something and then they go to a thank you page. From there, they have the 60 day hyper reset. And from there, they have a thank you page again. Every time they submit their details, they're added to a specific tag. Tags are done through contacts, emails, and automations. I'm not going to get into that right here, but in the next video, I definitely will. Let's go over to the welcome page just to show you how to navigate the pages. Right in here, we have the uh, section for the headline. So basically, it's the logo, uh, the starter, like homepage, uh, programs, blog, about him, and then we have the contact me, right? This page needs to have the elements of a headline. It needs to give away something. And in his case, it's the uh, book he wrote about his transformative journey. And he is like ideal person to set this funnel this way because he has the transformation that he is helping people with. His products are going to be all about the process that he has gone through so he can help others cure some autoimmune conditions. And obviously he's doing it through this page. Now on the left hand side, you have all the elements right here and you can also save blocks. So let's say you want this section. Well, I'm just going to say, I want this section to be my headline section and I want it on every single page. I would just click on this section and you see here, it says settings right here. You click on this and you can click on save and create a block. And then you would say, this is my master headline. And then you will just click on create button as you do this. So click on create button and this master block would be saved. So now on every page that you create after, you can actually drag over this block. And just to show you how that is done, I'm going to go over back to the sections, go to the blocks. And I have a master block that I created. And this is the headline and it's already on this page, so I can't drag it over. But normally this is done where it's the same color as it is here. And you just take it here 
and drag it over, right? So it's super simple to drag things over once you create elements because you want your site, wherever they go, the headline to be the same or the menu bar. Back to the blocks, elements. Here's the headline text. I can drag it over right here and now I have it. If I double click on this, it opens up this menu bar at the top. So H1, H2, so you can change the settings, how it looks like. And then you have this right here where you can change the colors. So you can change this to be anything that you want. If you don't want this element, you go over and you just delete it like this. And I delete this so it does not take away the space. Settings. On the left-hand side, everything happens on the left-hand side pretty much. You, when you work on the text elements, you do have the colors in bold and linking and all of that at the top, but everything else pretty much happens here. And this is changing the colors, the margins, when you want it to show, how you want it to be centered. And you always want to double check how it actually shows up on your mobile. You want to make sure that this is showing up properly so people can actually access what you are giving away. So everything should be shown on mobile. Let me go back here and then all the elements that we talked about are in here. I just want to cover like the columns. You can add in four, three, two columns, row, rows, uh, sections, um, form input, button, checkbox, Facebook comments, like whatever you want. Seriously, it's all here. So. Form input, let me move this over to this section. You see, it's giving me the form. If I click on the settings right here on the left-hand side, didn't I say everything happens on the left-hand side? You wanna select what type of the uh, form you want. So let's say I wanted a phone number. So it's a phone number. And this, uh, you can change the placeholder name because his is in creation, right? So I can change this to be so it's just in creation phone, right? So you can change it to show here as the phone. Super simple, but in my case, I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna delete this, great. The next thing, click here for your free book, right? So this is what he has here. I just wanted to show you how this works. So click here for your free book. If you go to the settings of this right here, on the left-hand side, again, submit form, to the next step. So what's gonna happen is they're going to the next step, but I wanted to add automation roles. So the moment they download this, they are added to the tag that we prepared, which is the book tag, right? So we know that these people have gotten the book. This way he has it in like a, a certain list that he can mail about his upcoming challenge that he has which is a challenge of 60 days to actually get on this type of diet so they can improve their health symptoms, right? So this is how his funnel is structured and this is how the page works. And I hope you have enjoyed this small tutorial. Just make sure that as you are finishing, you click on save changes, you exit, and then if you want, you can go view funnel step and it's gonna show you how this page looks like. It's going to show you how this page looks like. So if you scroll down through this, you will see we have all kinds of goodies here and the page looks very professional. You also want to link at the very bottom. I'm just going to go to this page again. At the very bottom, you want to have some kind of a privacy disclosure, privacy policy, terms of use, and everything is done in this section right here. So you have all of that. So let me go back to save and exit right here. And the next thing is going to be to just show you this funnel setting. And that is just the name of the site, because if you have multiple sites, you want to remember which one it is. So name it based on the domain that you have. And this is where you link it up. And that's it. In another video, I show you how to link up your domain. So it shows on your uh, settings, but this is just navigating the sales funnel right here and how to change the pages and details. I'm just quickly going to show you the page, uh, thank you page that he has. And it's basically this, it's his video. And then he has call to action to get the book and join his community because he's gonna be growing the community, right? So this is how it's done. And 
Get also familiar with these steps right here because you want to know the automation rules because you'll need to set them up from the moment they join here that they go to the thank you page so they're tagged properly and that the automation of email starts happening. You can also do uh, A-B split test if you wanted to. You, you can check the stats, uh, how many leads. This is a brand new site, so um, he's just getting started here. You can even set up a setting that is like a deadline setting. Basically, it expires, this step expires at a certain time. This is great if you're doing like a, a webinar, if you have a limited time offer, definitely helps you get more sales in because this gives them a reminder of how fast they need to move. More videos are coming up, so make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.